Hello, good morning friends. Today in this video, I'll show you how can we deploy our containerized application to AWS cloud. The Docker image that we have created in previous video, I will show how can we deploy that to a cloud. Every time we create a containerized application, we want it to deploy either on AWS cloud or our private cloud or on Azure cloud. So today in this video, I'll show you how can you deploy your containerized application onto a cloud service and how to test it. Okay, with me so far? Okay friends, so agenda for today is I'll introduce you with the AWS ECS service. What is ECS service? Elastic Container Service. Why do we use it? What is the purpose of ECS service? Then we'll set up an ECS cluster with a task definition. What is task definition? How can we create a container? All of that we'll see in the upcoming video. Then we'll deploy our Docker image into the cluster and we'll select the Docker image that we have created in the previous video. And finally, we'll test our application which is running in a cloud. Okay, interesting. Okay, friends, so before we proceed, we have to understand there are certain prerequisites for this. You must have a AWS account for this demo. You must have a Docker Hub account and you must have a Docker image in that Docker Hub repository because we are going to use that image to deploy or you can use the image what I am showing you in this demonstration. You can run the same image and deploy in your AWS ECS cluster. Okay, friends. Now let me show you how can we deploy our container image to AWS cloud. So in AWS, we have different types of services, which service to use here to deploy our containerized application. So there are certain specific services available in AWS that we can use to deploy our container application. So first thing what you have to do is you have to log in into AWS console using this URL. I'll share the URL in description section. And then using that you can log in into your AWS console. And then this is your home screen what you see. Now what we'll do is we search for Elastic Container Service ECS. Elastic Container service. This is what we are going to use to deploy our containerized application. You can see this is the home page of ECS service, Elastic Container Service. This service is used to deploy any containerized application. This service provides you the container feature and it understand it supports all the well-known container technologies like Docker. Now let me show you which particular image we are going to deploy in this demo. So if you remember from a previous video when we were retagging the Docker image, that time I shown you I'm using this code one digest repository name is learning repo and what all tags we have here. So this is a tag that I have uploaded from my local machine. So we will use the same tag, we'll use the same image to deploy in our AWS cloud. If you have not seen previous video, how to create Docker image, how to tag Docker image, and how to upload Docker image into Docker Hub. So please go and see that video. Okay. Now coming back to AWS ECS service, Elastic Container Service. You can see multiple option on your left hand side. So let me tell you the process. Here we have to create a cluster. Cluster is nothing but a group of pods which are going to run your containerized application. So cluster is a group of pods that we can manage here. Then we have to create one task definition to deploy into that cluster. We will create a task definition and then we'll run the task definition 
to deploy an image. So in task definition, we define a step-by-step -step guide to deploy that image into a cluster. With me so far? Simple. So now let's begin with the creation of our cluster. So on left hand side, all these options are available to you. Click on clusters. On this page, you will have an option to create a cluster. Right? Click create cluster button. Then you will have multiple options. What type of cluster you want to create? Right? You can see network only, EC2 Linux networking, EC2 window networking and so on. In this demo, we'll select network only and then say, click on next step. Okay, so now on this page, we have to provide the cluster name and then we have to provide certain networking details before creating the cluster. Let me give a cluster name that is code one digest. In our demo, and then we can leave the networking as is. We don't want to make any changes. Let it be. Click on create button. Okay, so now you can see a cluster is created. Code one digest container demo cluster. So this cluster is created. Now we will go and create our task definition. So to create task definition, we have to go back to our Elastic Container Service page. We will search Elastic Container Service. Yep. So we are here. We can see our cluster is created, but nothing is running as such. No data. And on left hand side, we have this task definition. Let's create task definition now. Click on task definition then click on create new task definition here we have multiple options what type of task you want to create what is the launch type here we'll select a fargate if you don't know the fargate please read about fargate fargate is like a serverless service where we don't have to manage the infrastructure so if you are new to aws Please go and read it. We'll go with the Fargate so that we don't have to worry about infrastructure, managing infrastructure, servers, and, and, and so on. So we'll select this Fargate and then click next step. Okay. So now on next step, we have to give the task definition name. Here I'll say code one digest container demo td task definition. Then leave all these as is and then let's take the smallest size for this demo that is 0.5 gb of memory and 0.25 cpu now what we have to do is click on add container now let's give the container name code one digest demo container right and now this step is important here we have to give the reference of our image if you remember i have uploaded my image to a docker hub repository let me quickly show you so this is my repository code one digest and just to see if how can we pull this image this is a tag we have and we can refer this image using this complete path. Let me go and paste it here. This is my user code one digest, and this is my repository name learning repo and colon tag. So tagging tagging demo one. This is my image. Just give 128 of MB of memory. Now port mapping, if you remember from previous video, we want to run our application on 8081 and we have exposed 
that 8081. In fact, you can add multiple ports if you're not sure about the port. Let me add it. 8081. I've added three ports. We'll try which port works. Rest of the thing, we can leave it empty by default <clears throat> and say add. So this container is added. And now we'll go at the bottom of this to create the task definition. It will take some time to create all the resources. Now it says the task definition is ready. View task definition. So now we are back on our ECS homepage. And these are task definitions that we have created. You can review it once. The task definition name is this. Then it's running on Linux. It is of type target. And this is the size and this is my container. If you want to see the container details, we have expose 8080, 8081, 8082 port. Right. So this is now we'll run this task definition. So if you remember, we have created a cluster first, then we created a task definition. In task definition, we have created a container. Now we are ready to run this task definition. So what will happen when we run this task? It will download that image and deploy in, into that container and expose those ports. Let me do that. Click on action and then you will have option to run this task. Okay, so now we are on run task page. So we have to select a couple of options to run this task. Select the launch type as a target. Select operating system as Linux. Task definition, leave it as is. Platform version latest, cluster name is this. Then we have to select a VPC and we have to select one at least one subnet. Select this first subnet. And now this is important. We have to go and update this security group. Click on edit. On this security group page, this security group is already there default. Here we'll add some rule for our ports so if you remember we have exposed our application for 8081 so we have to mention that port so that it is listening it is available for our for user to use it we'll select custom tcp just over on that option it is not visible fully here if you over it will say it is custom tcp or custom udb you have to select custom tcp and put a port number let's say 8080 then add one more rule Press C, then you will see custom TCP. Select that. Type 8081. Add one more rule. Type C. Then you will see custom TCP. Select that. And type 8082. Save this. Now we are done. We have edited the security group. Rest thing we have to leave as is. Now click on run task. So now it's saying the task is created successfully and it is active and it is running right okay with me task is up and running so let's test our application and how can we do that we'll click on this task go inside the task you will see the status and detail of the task that is launched if it's fargate it is running and we have to come to network section and we have to take the public IP. This public IP is important. We have to take that and open a new tab. Type HTTP slash slash then get IP then give port 8081 slash hello slash pavan. Let's see if we get a response. Yep, you go. So that means my application is responding. Let's try some more options. Pavan Modi. So I'm getting a response. That means our image is successfully deployed from our Docker Hub repository to AWS Elastic Container Service. This is how we deploy our application to AWS platform. It is up and running for user to use. Easy? Okay, so now we have seen that our application is 
up and running in our AWS ECS service, Elastic Container Service. It is deployed and we are able to access it in a browser. You should always do a cleanup on your cloud, otherwise it will keep adding to your cost. So how can we do a cleanup? Let's go back. Let me show you how can we do a cleanup now. Okay, so first thing we have to do is stop this task. It will stop the task, right? And click on this cluster. Go inside that cluster. On the right top corner, you will see that option to delete the cluster because cluster is consuming all the resources and that will charge you. After your practice, you can choose to delete the cluster. So come on the cluster page, what you have created and click delete cluster from the right top corner. Let me do that. It will ask you to type certain phrase like delete me and say delete. It has deleted my cluster. Let's see if we have any cluster on a cluster page. So there is nothing. On task definition, the task definition is still lying. Click on this task definition. Select this task definition. And say deregister. You can leave this task definition for your future use to run it in some other cluster or if you want you can delete this task definition as well by deregistering it and click on this deregister it will delete the task definition right so the task definition is also deleted if you go back to the task definition page we don't have any task definition here we don't have cluster and we don't have any task definition that means we have done the full cleanup okay friends so we have seen in this video what is aws ecs service we have seen what is ecs cluster how to configure ecs cluster and how to create task definition and how to create container inside it then we have also seen how to run the task definition what is fargate and then finally we deployed our docker image into that cluster and tested that application in a browser later we have also done the cleanup of our cluster and task definition friends please like share this video with your friends and colleagues this is very useful information i shown you the step by step guide how can you deploy your docker image to the container I'm sure this is a very useful information for many of your friends and colleagues as well. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality contents, but I'm not getting likes and subscribers. I need all of your support and help in growing the Code One Digest family. Please help me growing this family. Please do subscribe my channel and share the content with all your friends and colleagues also do let me know what you like or what you don't like in the video thank you and don't forget to like share and subscribe